I sure am feeling unlucky without Percy's bell with me. There's mud and rocks and sharp plants too, so much in my way. Without Percy's bell keeping me safe, will I be okay? I sure am feeling unlucky, cause I wasn't as careful as I should. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. I don't need to feel afraid, won't bend or break or fall. Because I've got a special bell that takes care of it all. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. Caves, monsters, or broken track, I think I'll be okay.
toward frustration. Pick yourself a new destination. Switch your course with a clickety clack. Because you won't be blue when you're on the laugh track. Just one good laugh can change the day for you. Send the rain pack and start a laugh track and turn those gray skies into blue. A smile becomes a laugh and it isn't far to go. Okay, Percy. Everyone's afraid a little, but some of us are afraid a lot. Me, for a start, I'm afraid of the dark and pandas and great white sharks. You're afraid of pandas? They're bears, Nia. Panda bears. Yeah, but they're really more like raccoons. Oh, raccoons are so cute. Okay, so never mind. I like pandas now. Everyone's afraid. Personally, my fear happens to be roller coasters. They scare me a lot. Coasters are just like pandas. The more you know, the less afraid you'll be. We all get scared. It's a feeling that's shared of robots. Or ghosts. Or bats. Or vacuum cleaners. together and think of something new. Between you and me, we'll find a plan B or C or D. Between me and you, we'll get this delivery through. I've got an idea. Sugar and flour will be our base stacked up right. Make a pretty sweet race, keeping eggs, milk, and butter in the right place. So I won't get more egg on my face. Between you and Or D. 
I thought being number one was done so easily. Just gotta be strong when the load is heavy, revved up and at the ready. Faster than any other train, shiny with the glossy coat of paint. Taking the lead in a big delivery. This is all. Number one's not easy as it seems. You've gotta be willing to offer your help, put others before yourself. Know when you should apologize, be honest, loving, and kind. Now I can see a brighter side of me. A true friend to all is how a number one engine should be.
Chuck. I'm gonna chew. There's got to be a way for me to get in front of you.
What's at the end of the rainbow? What do you think we'll find? Nobody knows what a rainbow holds. But I have a few things in mind. Hey! What's at the end of the rainbow? It's gonna be a great surprise. Hey! What's at the end of the rainbow spin? Look! It's some old rail ties? That doesn't seem right. Hey! Over there! We'll find a rainbow's end if it's treasure or it's not. We're so close. What's at the end of the rainbow? What do you think we'll find? Nobody knows what a rainbow holds. But I have a few things in mind. Hey! I hope what we find is a golden headlight. I hope it's new wheels so shiny and so bright. What's at the end of the rainbow? Oh, what's at the end of the rainbow? Hey, it's gonna be a great surprise. What's at the end of the rainbow span? You won't believe your eyes. Hey, it's just a head now. We can't always see the end of the rainbow. Whatever will there be? I'd always do good deeds Here to there and everywhere Thanks to my super speed Woohoo! If I was a super train I'd use my super steam I'd slip inside so I could hide And not be super seen If you were super train You'd do a lot of good But anyone can be a hero Right in their neighborhood I'd be so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true. But nothing's more super than just being you. If I was a super train, I'd always do good deeds. Here to there and everywhere. Thanks to my super speed. Woohoo! If I was a super train, I'd use my super steam. I'd slip inside so I could hide and not be super seen. If you were super trained, you'd do a lot of good. But anyone can be a hero right in their neighborhood. I'd be so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true. But The world would cheer my name! But even if you lost your powers, I'd like you just the same! Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. I thought that one plus zero added up to zero fun. Turns out the no fun number isn't always the number one. On my own, on my own. As long as I can pretend I'll never be alone. On my own. You can sail across the seven seas, rule a kingdom from a throne. Take a trip on a rocket ship past the moon to the unknown. On my own. On my own I thought that one plus zero added up to zero fun Turns out the no fun number isn't always the number one On my own, on my own As long as I can't 
Clear that, no problem. Okay, it might be a little problem. Good luck with the traffic, huh? It's nothing but grassy fields and blue skies out here, right, sheep? <gasps> Cracked couplers. Where did all this traffic come from? <laughs> Got this, Percy. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> Aw, thanks, cow. Any chance you want to be my new BFF? Bovine friend forever? <laughs> Traintastic! Although, I am a little worried about Thomas. He took the lunnies for my mail route, and you would not believe how jammed it gets this time of day. <sighs> Is the traffic always this bad? Ha ha ha! You are listening! I don't need Percy! It's just you and me, sheepy old pal! Which ain't so ba ha 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 Percy would have laughed at that. Who am I kidding? I miss my best friend. Thomas? Why haven't you dropped your delivery off yet? Isn't it obvious? I'm stuck in traffic. Wait, where's Percy? He, uh, took a little detour. Don't tell me you two haven't made up yet. Well, he started it. Or maybe I did. I wonder if he's having as much trouble as I am. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for trying, cow. But it's no use. I'll never get this delivery done without my best buddy, Thomas. What am I gonna do, Nia? Why don't you just ask Percy for help? This is his mail route, after all. He'll know a way around it. I, I can't. We're not exactly friends anymore. And besides, he's probably made it to Normby without me. So if Percy was nearby, would you ask him for help? Yeah. Good, because Percy's right over there. Wait, what? I was really hoping Thomas wouldn't see me. Can you help Thomas get out of this traffic? We're still not talking, but if someone wanted to avoid the traffic, they could back up a few feet and take the siding over there to get to this track. Thomas, 
It's right here. Thanks, Percy! <sighs> you both are being silly. I'm going as fast as I can. Sorry. I'm just so excited. Can I help you get done sooner? Really? That'd be great. Can you take this big bulb over to Vicar's Town Lighthouse? No problem. Thanks, Thomas. Switch on one, two, three. Great. I'll see you at the docks in a little bit. Right. Oh, and don't use the shortcut through Crumble Canyon. It's supposed to be really windy and crumbly today. Crumble Canyon. Got it. Hmm. Thanks, Thomas. I thought Percy was delivering this light bulb today. He was. I'm just helping him out so he can meet the rest of us at the docks when the telescope gets here. <gasps> That's Bulstrode! He's got the telescope! You got this, Carly? Yes, I like Great! I've got to get to the dock. See ya! Thomas! I can't wait to see that telescope! I know! I'll take a shortcut through Crumble Canyon. What did Percy say about Crumble Canyon again? Something about it being windy? Whoa! And crumbly? Is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bulstrode should be here any. <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? <sighs> I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You no know, buts. You have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Aww. Can't believe I'm going to miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See? Got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great. Thanks, Sandy. Uh, Sandy, can you help me with my... Whistle? Whoa, I've never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is... Wow. <laughs> Massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> Try now. Great. I'm ready to hear my old... Wow, this really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm going to need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later? <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. <sighs> I know you want it to be fixed, but it's just a little longer, and then you can get your paint back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again, and that's great. But I won't until this is fixed. <sighs> Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me. Otherwise, I'll never peep again. <sighs> See? 
Percy doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks. Should be trouble making trucks. Troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy. I have to warn him. He can't hear me. <gasps> but with your help, maybe he will. Okay, just follow the number one bird. <laughs> Hold on, Thomas. He should be here any minute. Huh? Oh, right. Young Val's coming today. He's coming for the fireworks show tonight. I can't wait to see him. And that cool tiger painted on his side. And hear his whistle that sounds like a tiger. Just like that. That must be him. Avast, landlubbers. There's a passenger on board who seems to be eager to see ya. You made it! Roar! Hey, everyone! I'm so happy to be back with you all in Sodor. And I brought a surprise for the fireworks show tonight. All the way from China. Cool! That's awesome! Can you tell us again how you earned your totally cool and or a scary tiger decal? Please! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, it wasn't such a big deal. I was just trying to help out. Come, Come on, please, with oh, axle yeah. grease on top! Okay, okay. It was for the time I rescued... <gasps> Annie and Clarabelle? Annie and Clarabelle? I thought you rescued an engine from an ice cliff with a snowplow. No! James is pulling Annie and Clarabelle this way. But the crossing arm is stuck, and they don't see Gordon coming. We have to stop them. Oh, yeah. Guys, I was trying to say before... Gordon! Gordon! Huh? Great gears! Nicely done. Whew. Thank you, Young Bao. So electric. Oh, you weren't even great. scared. What's wrong, Thomas? Well, I should have been the one to have saved the day. I saw the crossing arm was stuck, and I was gonna tell someone, but... Young Bao is our hero. Did you see that? Oh, yes. So you had a chance to be brave and missed it? Yeah. I wish I could have shown Young Bao how brave I really am. Well, you may not be the bravest engine on Sodor, but you did get to see Young Bao bravely leap to the rescue. Well, I would have too. You really are the bravest engine. Well, we'd better get to our delivery so we don't miss the fireworks tonight. Bye, Young Bao. Bye. <laughs> oh, line up, racers. First engine to Vickerstown wins. Ready, set, all engines go! Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hold on tight. Whoa. 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 Come on, let's catch up. Yeah. I thought the number one engine was faster than that's all you got? Not even close. Here comes super speed! Woohoo! Come on, Thomas! Whoa! I can still win. Chugga chugga! Woohoo! Huh. That looks just
just like Thomas's light. Thomas, you forgot one of your lights. <sighs> Thomas, you sure are speedy. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Number one, lots of fun. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <gasps> Come on. It's probably okay. Don't blow a gasket. Maybe we can fix it before Gordon gets here. I'm <gasps> here. Well, how did your deliveries go, hmm? Are all of the lights safe and not broken? I, um, well, you see... <gasps> Gordon, the truth is... The tracks were bumpy! <laughs> what? They were. But that's not how it broke. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> but <laughs> accidents happen. <laughs> Besides, the Festival of Lights will still be grand with your second light. Phew! <laughs> My second light. <gasps> Where is my second light? You, uh, you did have the second light, <laughs> correct, Thomas? Um, be right back. Harold to Thomas and Percy. Howdy, fellas. Over. Harold! Harold the helicopter? Wow, it's so cool to see you. <laughs> Roger that. Right back at you. Over. First mate, Percy. We're coming to a fork in the, uh, the ocean. Let's go left, toward the cows. I think he really wants you to look at them cows. <laughs> uh-huh, yes. Thomas and I are delivering a submarine. The left fork. We're going toward the cows. <laughs> they are nice cows. Well, I got a delivery at the docks. Over and out. Bye, Harold. See you soon. Ah. Uh. He can't hear me over his rotors. Huh? Percy? Ow! Are you okay, Percy? Sorry, Captain. Couldn't hear you over Harold's rotors. Yeah, I couldn't hear you either. His rotors are loud. Harold is amazing, though. Absolutely. But... We need a way to communicate so we'll understand each other if it gets loud again. Even if it's loud, our whistles are louder. How's this? One peep will mean yes, and two will mean no. Great. And one long peep or two for faster, and two for slower. Right. Got it. And four quick blasts if you want to go super fast, and a blast and a half if you want to go, like, a little bit faster, and also three quick peeps if you want to stop. And then, stop. If then, you want to get them. That's a lot to remember. So, you good? Well... Great! Let's get back on track. Um... First mate, Percy, let's go fast through that tunnel. One long peep. Okay, that was one long peep. That means go faster. <laughs> he understood me. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> the bridge is up. We need to stop. That's three peeps. Huh? What did 12 peeps mean? Maybe Percy can't hear me on the other side of the mountain. I gotta try something else. Oh! Huh? Oh, fun! Thomas sent up a stop signal. A stop signal? Stop! <laughs> Phew. Dum dee 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 dum. Another quiet day on the river of Thomas. So, so quiet. Right. But this isn't my shortcut. No, but uh, you'll see. This way is much better. But it will take us twice as long. No! 
Hall's farm is way out of our way. I gotta get back across Crovins Creek and into the forest. Hmm. Oh, uh, Gordon, I heard you delivered all the cement for the ferry terminal at Normanby by yourself. That can't be true, can it? It can, and it is. <clears throat> it was no small job, let me tell you. All the cement had to be delivered in one night, and no other engines were available. Well, everyone said it couldn't be done, but I said it's blocked. This is definitely the way and to go. I to do it. Well, by that time, I had delivered only half the cement. It was almost morning. Time was running out, so I dug in and... What? Why are we in the forest? These bricks have to be delivered as soon as possible. Well, we'll get to Normby much faster this way. We're not going to get there at all this way. We have to go the other way. I insist. Switching right. Hey! Breaking! Oh, 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 my brakes! And, uh, uh, Thomas, wait! See? We're crossing Quick Draw Bridge. Uh, yes, but we're crossing it in the wrong direction. And look, there's the big windmill. This is definitely the way to go. Uh, no. You're thinking of the other windmill. Back into the forest is the way to go. What are you doing? I'm taking us the new way. But this is not the right way. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. <sighs> no, it isn't. Go left! No, go right. Huh? Thomas, what are you doing over there? Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, Thomas, I, I might need some assistance here. I'm coming, Gordon! Wandering off like that. I'm doing my best, Gordon. And we're back on track. Uh oh. Everything okay, John? Yo, oh, the tracks are closed. Stop. Phew, that was close. Ten boxes! Whoa, Thomas! That's your biggest box stack ever! Oh, wait, what's the biggest delivery you've ever made? No, wait, what was the best delivery you've ever made? Oh, a submarine! Definitely a submarine! I once delivered an elephant! For me, it's that space rocket! I deliver the mail! Well, you did say the best delivery. Hmm, if you enjoy making big deliveries, I have exciting news for you. Today may be your most impressive yet. Delivering an even bigger shipment of dinosaur bones to the Vickerstown Museum. How exciting! Uh, we don't need everyone to go. I can do it all by myself this time. Well, it took a whole team of scientists to dig this dinosaur up, so it's going to take a team of engines to carry it safely to the museum. That's why today's train school lesson is all about teamwork. A train school day, a train school day, a little learn, a little play. All the engines on their way. It's Thomas, Mercy, Mia, hey! Today can diesel gas can come and say a train school day, a train school day. What will we learn today? Hey, something's jammed in my wheels. What happened? Brendam Docks is usually sparkling clean. Hmm, judging by these crates, Cranky must be behind unloading cargo. Huh, he's usually on top of things. Ah. He looks like he could use a nap. If Cranky's this tired already, he won't be able to clear the docks. Or lift the dinosaur bones. 
Then we'll just have to clean up the docks for him before the big crate arrives. <laughs> we'll have this done in no time. We'd love to help by cleaning up. Sounds like a yes to me. It looks like today's teamwork lesson will be more wheels on than I planned. I know how to clear the docks lickety split. It's swooshing time. Would have worked if the trash didn't fly everywhere. Well, what if we kept the trash from flying away? Like with a net? How about a trash bin? Wonderful. I'll help Connor clear the trash. But what about the boxes? Big problems are easier when you do them together. While Kana and Nia clear the trash, the rest of us can work together to move the boxes. Great thinking, everyone. Let's team up and ship out before that ship comes in. Excellent teamwork, everyone. You got the docks clean just in time by working together and sharing ideas. Uh, but maybe you can prove it once more by taking these dinosaur bones to the Vickerstown Museum so the research team can put the dinosaur together, together. Wow! Wow, a real dinosaur! Look how big it is! You're welcome, Cranky. Hey, Percy. Those are some fantastic shapes. Diesel! Ah! You ruined my art! <laughs> art, you say? I see you've guessed our train school lesson. Uh, today's focus is on arts and crafts. I, I hope you're all ready to get creative. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, too. Well, I'm absolutely excited to make something new. When can we start? Follow me if you want to learn. <laughs> A train school day, a train school day, a little learn, a little play. All the engines on their way. It's Thomas, Percy, Mia, hey! Who knows what we'll learn today? Can diesel gas can come and say? A train school day, a train school day. What will we learn today? Twist recycling plant? But it's just lots of junk. Uh, actually, many wonderful things can be created by recycling old, unwanted materials and turning them into something new and exciting. Like this art? Precisely. Take a look at this. All made from recycling. Whiff shared these materials with us so you can make sculptures. Fine. I love art. This day is going to be great. Well, what are you waiting for? Details figured out, but I have the idea. But the only way we can both have them 
is if we work together. With Diesel's big ideas and my eye for detail, maybe we can find a Diesel and Percy perfect solution. <laughs> well done, everyone. You made art. Now, let's have a look at what you've created. Ooh. Wow. I recycled pipes into musical art. These signs are too worn to be on the road, but they're just right to be on track. It was the fastest animal I could think of. Diesel or Percy, you're next. How about Diesel and Percy? Uh, why did you two partner up and share your sculpture? At first, we weren't sharing at all because we both wanted the bike wheel for our sculptures. Then Thomas helped us realize we could both use the wheel if we worked together. Oh my, you two learned that by sharing, you could create something amazing together. Now we can all share the duty of decorating Whiff's recycling plant with your beautiful sculptures. Chirp, chirp, sings the bird, always so it can be heard. <laughs> My, aren't we in good spirits? Hello, Gordon. We were just singing with Nia and this little bird. Well, if you like songbirds, you'll love hearing the other birds near the wildlife sanctuary. As a matter of fact, we're building some new tracks close by. A wildlife sanctuary? Yes. It's a place where you can see many animals in nature. Like bunnies? I hope we find bunnies. We may. Uh, come along now, everyone. <laughs> it's time for train school. A train, a train school day, day a train, train school day, day, a little learn, a little play. All the engines on their way. It's Thomas, Percy, Mia, hey! Who knows what we'll, we'll learn today? today? Can Diesel guess? Can Thomas say? A train school day, a train school day, what will we learn today? I bet there's lots of deer with big antlers. Hmm, I wonder if we'll find other birds, like blue jays. Welcome to our new wildlife track. <gasps> it's beautiful. Where are the birds? Hey, where are the bunnies? Are there bunnies? Huh. So this is a wildlife sanctuary. Oh, oh, my eyes spy something <coughs> black. Ha ha, my eyes spy shiny new tracks. Time for a diesel track attack. Go! Stop! to test the new track. The animals in this wildlife sanctuary can be scared or get hurt if we go fast. We need to be kind to them and go slow. Hmm, I guess. But going slow is no fun. Right, guys? Guys? Uh, my I spy something cute in yellow. <laughs> and now, let's move along slowly. Uh, careful not to bother them. <gasps> oh no! The baby duck is stuck. What if it can't get out? And it gets hurt. Nia's right. And it's unsafe to use the track while it's stuck. We must help the duckling. Don't worry, Nia. We'll absolutely figure it out. Hmm. Um. Oh! Oh! Maybe we can to fly uh -huh. out. Hi, Ducky. Just flap your wings and fly away. I know. Maybe steam can help loosen where its foot is stuck. Remember, be gentle with the steam. Oh, nothing seems to be working. Did, Did you, you see that? that? Hey, Diesel, when you dropped down, it made the tracks move. And the baby duck had more wiggle room. 
Do it again, Diesel. Okay, if you say so. You're welcome. <laughs> well done, everyone. Wow, I hope it never gets stuck again. Oh, no. What if it gets stuck again? And we're not here to help. Hmm, there must be a way for animals to safely get from one side of the tracks to the other. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> now the ducks and other animals can cross without being scared or hurt. Good thinking, Nia. And remember, everyone, we do the right thing when we are kind to others. Ha-ha! I am the great Cicilline. Ah. All eyes on me as I say the magic words. Cicilline, disappear! Diesel's hat is floating! Now all I have to do is hide. Oh, magic! <coughs> oh, oh, my! Gordon! What is all this smoke? Oh, oh, I get it! Diesel disappears and Gordon appears! No, that's not the magic trick! Ah, well, if you like magic tricks, I have a trick for today's lesson about signals. Oh, but I practiced all morning. Yes, yes, I'm sure we all want to see your magic, Diesel. But you'll have to be patient and wait until after the lesson. Uh, come along now, everyone. It's time for train school. A train school day, a train school day, a little learn, a little play. All the engines on their way. It's Thomas, Percy, Mia, hey! Who knows what we'll learn today? Can these or guests can come and say? A train school day, a train school day, what will we learn today? You all know how to take turns when the track signals are working. Today, we'll learn how to take turns when the track signals are not working. Now, uh, this is a uh, very important lesson I want to show my trick already. Knowing how to proceed Gordon said you could after the lesson. It is especially important to alert other engines by blowing our whistles before we cross. Then we flash our lights on and off so that everyone can see us coming. Now, let's all try together. Very good. We continue to toot our whistles and flash our lights until we finish crossing. And that's our lesson for today. Now we can practice. Who would like to go first? Ah, Thomas. Can you show us what you've learned? Time for the Great Dieselini. All eyes on me as I say the magic word. Diesel. Thomas. You're ruining my trick. But Gordon said it was my turn. No, Gordon asked who wanted to go first. So it's Dieselini time. <clears throat> As I said before, Diesel, we would like to see your magic trick, but practicing is an important part of the lesson. Remember to be patient and wait your turn. Okay, then it's my turn. No, no, it's my turn. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. 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 It sounds like someone's coming. <gasps> it's James! Oh no, he hit it right at Diesel and Thomas! He's not on schedule. <gasps> Diesel, do your magic trick! Chugga chugga! Whoa! That was close! Oh my, you could have both been hurt. This is why we must be patient and wait our turn. Ugh, I just wanted to show off my trick, but I made a mess instead. Ugh, I'm really sorry. Diesel, your magic trick saved us. It did? It did indeed. I hope everyone has learned a very valuable lesson today. Be patient and wait your turn. Maybe now? The great Dieselini can show us how he did his magic trick. Ha ha! A magician never reveals his secrets. If only 
heist didn't scare me. At least I can enjoy these flowers. <sighs> ah! Who's ready for train school? Today, I have a surprise. We're off to see a parade honoring all the brave engines. Brave? Yes, and it will be led by our good friend from China, Yong Bao. Yong Bao is fearless! But to make it on time, we'll have to take a shortcut. So let's go. A train school day, a train school day, a little learn, a little play. All the engines on their way. It's Thomas, Percy, Mia, hey! Who knows what we'll learn today? Can diesel gas can come and say? A train school day, a train school day. What will we learn today? And another time, Young Bao saved a dozen engines from disaster. If I were brave like him, I'd be unstoppable. <gasps> Shortcut? Now, on a bridge like this, take it. Whoa! Uh, uh, however, is comfortable for you. <laughs> Good job, engines. Percy, your turn. Come on, Percy. Stop dancing and let's go. I'm not dancing. I'm scared. Percy, think happy thoughts. Pretty mountains, the fluffy clouds below. Oh, no, 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 no. Clouds should be above. Oh, I'm not brave enough. It's just too high and too scary and too far to the other side. Too far? <gasps> I know! Percy, try coming to me first. That way it won't seem so far. Uh, okay. I'll try. No, I can't do this! Do this! Do this! Do this! Percy, your echo believes in you. I'm doing it? You could. I really did it. It's about time. I'm not scared of of. Whoa. Diesel, you can do this. Whoa, this is really high. Thanks, Percy. I guess that was a little scary. Come along now. The parade is about to start. Ah. I can't believe we get to watch! Actually, I was thinking we shouldn't watch. Huh? We should join it instead. What? The parade is for brave engines, huh? and you all showed bravery today. <laughs> but, but I was afraid of the bridge. Yes, and you worked through the fear and found your self-confidence. Now that is brave. <laughs> what a good sleep. Morning engines. Today we'll be learning how to pace ourselves on a long journey with a delivery for tonight's Starlight Seaside Picnic. Starlight Picnic? Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> don't tire yourself out already. I don't know the meaning of the word tired. <sighs> yeah, me neither. <sighs> Okay, then come along, engines. It's time for train school. 
At train school day, on train school day, a little learn, a little play. All the engines on their way. It's Thomas, Percy, Mia, hey! Who knows what we'll learn today? Can these or guess? Can Connor say? A train school day, a train school day, what will we learn today? Now remember, even with light cargo, you need to save your energy on long deliveries. Uh, don't worry. I won't run out. Yeah. Full steam ahead. Uh. Diesel! Thomas! I bet we're making record time. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Diesel. Hi, Nia! Wait! How did they catch up? We can make up time ahead. We'll be there in no time. Uh, in uh, a choo choo to the moon. Whoa. Uh. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Diesel. What you doing in that field? Uh, picking flowers for the picnic. Great idea. But let's keep up the steady pace so we arrive on time. We just have this mountain to climb. I hope you all saved energy. Um, is this mountain getting bigger? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have stayed up so late. Yeah, uh, I might be a little tired. But we're really quick engines, so I think we have time for a real quick nap. 